There is nothing more frustrating when you are doing everything in your power to lose weight, but that scale is not budging. You're putting in your work in the kitchen. You're putting in your work with your exercise at the gym. However, you have very resistant weight loss. Here, I'm going to share with you strategies you can use to help you break through that resistant weight loss. And these are the same strategies I implemented to make this transformation. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Diela Joy. I lost over 110 pounds on my weight loss journey. I started my weight loss journey at 282 pounds after dealing with several health problems postpartum when I gave birth to my son years ago. I developed metabolic disease because of my poor dietary choices due to the chronic pain I was in. I lost the majority of my weight eating one meal a day. I started one meal a day two years ago after getting into a car accident. One meal a day really helped me make this transformation because again, after getting to the car accident, I was dealing with a lot of injuries and pain is my trigger. Pain is my trigger to binge. So fasting, keto, all of these methods of dieting seem to help me out with my weight loss journey. So on my weight loss journey, started off with the common sense diet. So just adding more vegetables. Then I did the keto diet, lost 60 pounds relatively quickly. Then I plateaued for two years because I couldn't move. My body set point weight just was stuck at 220 pounds, 209, 220 pounds. And then I got into the car accident, ballooned up to 229 pounds, got to my lowest weight with one meal a day. So in today's video, I'm going to go over the things I did to make that happen because I know a lot of you out there struggle the way I do. It's very hard for me to lose weight. My body likes to stay at the same weight. That is my problem. Some people, they gain. I guess I got to be blessed in that my body just likes to stay. So to really push your body down when it's really wants to, when it's set point weight is at a weight that you're not comfortable with, you need to follow these things. And this is exactly what I'm doing right now. For those of you who don't know on my channel, you guys saw that I lost my weight with one meal a day. Guess who's going back to one meal a day? Hi. I am because I'm sick and tired of putting in all this work in the gym and the kitchen and everything is stalled. Now, why will your weight stall? Number one, obviously you got to look at nutrition. When you look at your nutrition, are you eating the right foods? Are you eating the right amount of the foods? Are you eating too much? Now, if you did that, next thing, how are your cortisol levels? Because cortisol will make you retain weight. And I know my cortisol levels have been through the roof with everything I've been dealing with in the last two years, <laughs> let's be honest, two years, but it really ramped up in the last couple of months. So I've been dealing with a lot of stress and cortisol will spike your insulin levels and it will make you more insulin resistant. Cortisol will also spike when you eat foods that are processed. So it's key to note that, but these are the attributes to why your weight might be stuck. And obviously with metabolic disease and the whole lot. So I'm going to go through four things or five things that you need to focus on if you're dealing with resistant weight loss. Number one, reduce your sugar intake. Stop eating sugar. And when I say sugar, do not eat added sugar. You can eat natural sugars from fruits, but if you're going to eat sugar from fruits, best believe that there's fiber involved. Fiber will help negate the effects that sugar has on your blood glucose levels because the fiber keeps your blood glucose levels steady. Now, for those of you who don't know, it's those blood glucose levels when they spike up and down, it causes a whole bunch of fury with our body. For a lot of us, it's weight gain. For other people, it might be chronic fatigue, chronic illness, always chronically getting ill and sick. Those are all signs of like a, a glucose or a metabolism that is out of whack. But reduce your sugar intake. That is key. No added sugar at all all. Number two, reduce your fine processed carbohydrates. Heck, if you're struggling, I would say eliminate the processed carbohydrates and just go for whole foods. Just eliminate it. Just eliminate it because your body is clearly responding or very hypersensitive to these processed carbohydrates. That's my body right now. You guys saw earlier how I was eating my little burger and berries. Well, guess what? That's done. We're not doing that anymore. That is out of the picture. I'm getting rid of all processed carbohydrates. I'm done. I'm done. They're gone. <laughs> Only thing I'll have is carbonate bread, which is kind of different. It's like a keto bread, high in fiber. Anything high in fiber, I'm good to go. Number three, eat whole foods. Whole foods. Focus on whole foods. 
And I'm going to add a little 3A to that. Avoid all the seed oils. Avoid all the canola oils, the um, vegetable oils. If you can, please avoid it. It's very hard to do so because I bought this made good cereal today. And guess what? They put canola oil in it. Even though it's canola oil from Canada, who cares? It's canola oil. Canola oil is absolute garbage. And it's going to make weight loss very difficult because it messes up with our metabolism. Number four, don't be afraid to eat fat and protein. I've seen people on channels, they're more worried about calories. Calories is not, calories count, but what you really need to focus on when it comes to weight is not so much the calories, but the macronutrient ratios. When you focus on the macronutrient ratios, then by default, the calories will be lower. You need to focus on getting in enough protein and fat. That is key. Carbs, you want to manipulate down lower best. It's best to do that because again, anyone who's lost a ton of weight in terms of trying to get rid of resistant weight loss, so look at bodybuilders, they always reduce their carbs. So that is key. Don't be afraid to eat your fat and protein. Number five, don't eat all the time. Give your body enough time to use the calories you ate. So a great rule it's to intermittent fast. What I'm doing right now, I know, I'm back to OMAD because I am just fed up with doing it the other way. Back to OMAD. OMAD is what works for me. I love the idea of eating most of my calories later in the day because it prevents me from going back and eating later on at night. That's why I like OMAD. OMAD is also very good because, again, you're fasting during the day. You're getting into autophagy. You're getting into ketosis. You're reversing all of that damage. So intermittent fasting is key when it comes to getting rid of resistant weight loss. Now I'm going to throw in some bonus points. Huh, walk. I'm also doing 14,000 steps a day. I'm on day three of this. Walk. Get in your steps. I'm telling you, walking is the best way to lose weight. You're going to the gym and building muscle, that's great. You better complement that with walking. Make sure you ensure you get in your steps. I'm aiming for, aiming for 14,000 because 14,000 is a number that I saw that was like the perfect medium in terms of weight loss. As long as you're increasing your step count, you will lose the weight. But that's my goal. Everyone's going to have a different step goal based on how they have been active in the past. So obviously, if you have looked at your step count and you're at 5,000 steps, going to 8,000 steps will be a win for you. So that's what I mean by step goals are individual. Anyway, I hope this video helps you out. If you're dealing with resistant weight loss, hang in there. Make sure you're getting in sleep. Make sure you are, oh my gosh, mindfulness, breathing, bringing down those cortisol levels. Meditate a lot. When I lost weight with one meal a day, I was meditating religiously like a monk. I was meditating like at least an hour or two a day. Now, if you don't want to make time for it, then you're going to make time for disease. I don't know what else to tell you, but breathing helps because the process of burning fat involves a lot of oxygen, fatty acid oxidation. Breathing also helps to bring down your cortisol levels. It helps to put you in a state of calm. Your body is not going to lose weight. If your body is in a state of fight or flight, it's not going to lose it in that survival state. So meditation, being calm, if you are at work and you have a moment where your stress levels go up, use that cortisol, walk, maybe do some squats at your desk, anything to help you bring those cortisol levels down and to focus on eating clean, clean, clean food. If you made it this far into the video, just drop in the word clean food because that is key. And I'm sending you guys my love. Take care. Bye.